Where the heck do we come from? Hi, this is Sydney from A for Anthro, where we talk about human origins and culture. Did you know that there have been several types of different human species that have lived on this planet? Each form of human have seemed to migrated from Africa into other places around the globe. But scientists are saying that some Homo sapiens that have migrated outside of Africa may have mated with these other types of humans in other places, like the Neanderthals in Europe and the Denisovans in Southeast Asia. And there's talk that we may still share some DNA with these other species. Of course, we've definitely seen it with Neanderthals. Um, a lot of Europeans have um, been able to do DNA tests and see that they have some Neanderthal within them. But it would be fascinating to learn more about how much do we relate still to our ancestors from the past. Anthropologists dedicate their time trying to understand human origins. I have always been deeply um, intrigued by human origins because I just like knowing where we come from and like it just seems like a mystical story because we just kind of popped up because the world is definitely a mysterious place. Back in 2015, I lived in Africa as a missionary for a couple of years. And I always found that the Bible had a lot of interesting say-so about where our human origins came from. Particularly about the Watchers and how they made it with other humans. And what's even more fascinating is that there's not only stories in the Bible about this, but there's other cultures and mythologies that have the same stories. Of gods mating with um, human women and having children with them. You can see it especially in Greek mythology with Zeus mating with like uh, so many human women. Or even in Mesopotamia with um, Gilgamesh being half divine, half mortal. A lot of times these uh, people were called demigods. So something I would love to do is like be able to combine or like understand like both sides equally and like how they relate to one another. Because you have discoveries being made um, in different places, like evidence that there were other types of humans. There's radiocarbon dating, um, which isn't always accurate, but like most times it is. And then you have these cultural stories that are like basically similar, like almost every single culture has like the same story, it seems. So how much is really true from all this stuff and are we able to paint a bigger picture with combining the two? Just a food for thought. But anyway, if you have stuck with me this long for this entire video, thank you so much for watching. And if you're a person that likes these types of topics and these types of deep questions, I'd encourage you to follow me or subscribe wherever you find this video. I believe these types of conversations bring us closer together and just open up the mind of like where we come from and where we are going now as a species.